Hello and welcome to the video where today we're gonna talk about why is a minute 60 seconds? We live in a world where a meter is 100 centimeters or a kilometer is made up of a thousand meters and so on and so forth. However, it's not the same with how we measure our time. So the question is, who decided on a minute being 60 seconds and not 10? or a hundred. In today's world, our number system is based on 10, a system that's been around for a while because it made it easy for human beings to count using their fingers. Dividing a minute into 60 seconds comes from the Babylonian thousands of years ago, who used a number system that was based on 60 instead of 10. The ancient Babylonians counted in base 60, which is why we have 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and 360 degrees in a full circle. They also divided the sky into 12 sections because of the 12 zodiac signs. One day is 12 hours, one night is 12 hours. One advantage of using numbers based on 60 instead of 100 that is just easier to divide. 60 can be divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. Whereas 100 can only be divided by 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10. The bottom line is, compared to 100, the number 60 is just easier in calculations. As time went on, humanity needed to measure these time blocks with a reliable tool, and eventually came up with a mechanical clock which was invented in 17th century. The Babylonians have influenced our lives in many different ways that we don't really think about. Every time we look at our watches, we're doing something Babylonian. Every time we measure an angle, we're doing something Babylonian. Anytime we talk about zodiac signs, we're doing something Babylonian. There are plenty of day-to-day -day stuff that we do that was inspired by the Babylonians from thousands of years ago. But what do you think about how our timekeeping has evolved? Should we just change our minutes to have 100 seconds instead of the 60? Or at this point, is it just too late? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching and like, comment, and subscribe for future videos about interesting facts. And make sure you also check out the video that's recommended at the end.